Welcome to To Enable Help. This third video is going to show you how to assign a user, in this case demo user, the rights to administer a group. So this is done through the administration module, which you've seen before. And um, we're going to go to groups and we're going to set up demo user to administer the demo group. So you can see here I can't add a user, there's no ability because I need to be in edit mode. So when I'm in edit mode, I can add a row here to add a user and I'm going to select demo user. So demo user is now a member of this group and I'm going to make demo user the team leader of this group. So there is the demo, there's the group leader user and it's demo user. I'm going to save that and um, once that saves, we will then go and check how it has affected the demo user's rights. So what's important to understand is we have created a group um, and it's simple to create a group. It's the same way that we have added a user and we then add the user to the group and then we assign the user as the group leader. Uh, there's one trick that you need to understand here is that once you've added the user you need to click onto a field which is not the group leader and then you can click on the group leader user column and you'll be able to add the demo user. It's a quirk you'll discover when you do it. Anyway, so it's now saved. Demo user is a member of the demo group. He's a team leader. And if we go back to demo user, I'm going to go back to the dashboard and refresh this page and see if it's going to pull through for me a group. So we've now opened it up and here you can see organization groups registered for. And it's a demo group. It's a Cast Image Music Development Academy. Demo user, and this is demo user, is the group leader. As a result, demo user can now edit members here. So what we can do is we can, you can see demo user is a member of this group, and we can add other users to this group. So if I add Michael Matthews to this group, and I add, there's another demo in fact, that's, they're not a member of Casterbridge. Let's go for Zelia. I'll add her and I can now say that there are now three members to that group. So that is how we add users. If I did uh, to delete a user, we delete the button and then we save. So now what we can do is we can message the group. I can say, um, hi, uh, this is demo user, your new group leader and I can send a message to that group so it's going to send a message I'm not going to message the group again it's going to send a message to those two users well it's not going to send a message to himself but it'll send a message to Michael Matthews so that is how you can add a user to a group and make them a group leader so they can manage it and it also shows how as a group leader you can edit who's in your group and how you can message a group and you can also create an event for the group so if I create an event for this group it's going to add it to the calendar so you can give it whatever group uh, event name you want and I can call it a test event and we're not selling tickets so there's no link to a ticket I can give it a, a, a location so it's demo hall um, and it is let's say in uh, let's just say it's in White River and we can select a time so we're going to say it is from on the 2nd of May till 2200 hours so I can create the event and now what that's going to do is it's going to add that event into the calendar of these users and to show you what, what I mean by that is you can immediately see here there's an upcoming event for demo user so if I click on demo users upcoming events there it is. That's the event we've created. I can view the event. And if I wanted to, I can now take attendance. So I can say, well, demo user was present and Michael Matthews was present, or they were both absent. So if we go back to that, um, on the view event page, you'll notice because I created the event, I can delete the event and I can take attendance. The other thing is in this organization, the other user in this space was Michael Matthews. 
and I'm going to go to Michael Matthews's um, page. So if I look at my upcoming events as Michael Matthews, you can see here in my upcoming events, I'm also an administrator of the group, but you can see here is the demo hall event. If I view it, uh, I can also take attendance, and the reason I can take attendance is because I am an administrator of, a, of the organization. So all administrators can take attendance for any event. So I could create an event and a colleague of mine could take attendance. The other thing you need to notice here is I cannot delete the event because I'm not the event creator. So if I go to calendar, you'll start to see in my calendar now, that upcoming event will be reflected in my calendar also. So it'll be on today's date, which is the second. And it should load an event here for me. And there it is, Craftsburg's Music Development Academy. There's the event. So I'm going to go back to demo user, the person who created this event. And I'm going to delete that event because it's, a, it's just for demonstration purposes. But that is the functionality that I've just uh, described around setting a user as an administrator for a group and then some of the functionality around it. So yeah, my organizations and in my organizations there's the group, you can edit the members, you can create an event which I've demonstrated, you can message the group. If I look at my messaging, uh, here is the message to Michael Matthews. If I go to Michael Matthews, and here is Michael Matthews, and there's a message that's unread, I go to messaging, demo user, here it is, hi, this is demo user, your new group leader. So coming back here, we demonstrated how to edit the members, how to create an event, and how to message the group. And that is how you, in summary of the three things, uh, manage an organization, add users to an organization, give them administrator rights, give them mentor rights, and those two things obviously affect their rights on their dashboard. And then by adding them to a group and making them a group leader, they are able to edit the group. Now the other person in this group, again, is Michael Matthews, and I'm going to go back to Michael Matthews. And I'm going to show you what um, part is reflected in Michael Matthews' dashboard, because he's a member of the group. So I'm going to my organizations, and you'll notice Michael Matthews is an administrator. But here, Michael Matthews is the group leader of the administrator group. So he can edit the members, create an event, message the group. He's not the group leader of this group. Demo uses the, the group leader. So he cannot edit the members, create an event, and message the group. But what Michael Matthews can see is that he is a member of that group, organization groups registered for. I am a member, Michael Matthews, of the demo group. So you can see how the managing of groups and the managing of rights uh, by an administrator of an organization provides users within your organization specific functionality and I hope that is uh, has been of use to you.